let's solve this Harvard Uni math interview test question. We are asked to solve for x in negative 5 square uh, to the power of x equal to x. So we're going to consider using common logarithm, considering the complex number. And then in the second method, we'll try using the ULR identity. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mass content. Now, using the mass log uh, complex number notation, you should recall that negative one is equal to uh, uh, j square, right? Good. So if we do that, we're going to replace that with this, and this expression will now give us uh, a j square multiplied by five, all squared, all to the power of x, and this will be equal to five. And this is considering the first method using logarithm and the value of complex number. Now, having done that, we can now take the log of both sides. If we take the log of both sides, this will give us the log of all of these 5i square all to the power of x equal to the log of 5 right so taking the log of both sides we can expand sheet recall that if you have the log of x plus a this can be equal to x log a right so if we do that we're going to have this to become x x log 5 j square and this will be equal to the log of 5. Now consider another law of logarithm that if we have the log of a b log of a b can be equal to the log of a plus the log of b right so if we consider that expression, this expression will now give us the value of our x and this will give us the log of, to isolate that, that will give us the log of 5 plus the log of j square and that will be equal to log of 5. Great. Now in the next step, we're going to simplify. Considering this expression, that expression will give us x log of five plus two log i, and this will be equal to the log of five. Great, in the next step, we're going to divide both sides by log of 5 plus 2 log of j in order to find the value of x. So if we divide this expression, this whole expression, by the log of 5 plus 2 log j, and we divide the other expression this whole expression is going to clear up this expression and then we'll have the value of our x to be equal to log of 5 divided by the log of, remember we're dividing both sides by uh, the log of uh, 5 plus to log of j. Great, and that is what the value of our x is going to give us. Now, if we rearrange this, we're going to have the value of our x to be equal to the log of five, such that the complex number comes first to log j plus log of five, which is a complex solution. You see this becomes the solution that expression using logarithm and the complex number notation. Now let's consider using 
uh, another two solutions using solution that involve Euler's formula. In that question, we are given negative five all to the power of x equal to five. Now, how do we use Euler locations or Euler identity in solving this question? Now, if we expand this, you're going to see that we'll have negative one multiplied by five to the power of x equal to five, right? Good. Our conditions in which we can use logarithm in this expression, conditions that must be met is if we have the log of a base b, conditions that must be met is that the value of our a must be greater than zero, right? And the value of our b must be uh, greater than zero as long as b is not equal to as long as b is not equal to one so looking at those cons considering those uh considering these conditions we can simplify this recall that from the law of indices we have a multiplied by b all to the power of n this can be equal to a to the power of n multiplied by b to the power of n that means we can expand that expression so if we expand that expression we're going to have the value of our negative one square negative one to the power of x multiplying five to the power of x equal to five great at this point, let's consider using ULR identity to simplify further. Now recall that from ULR identity, e to the power of j pi plus one is equal to zero. Now from that expression, our exponent of j pi can be equal to negative so replacing this negative one with exponent of to the power of j pi, we are going to have that expression to now give us the exponent of j pi all to the power of x multiplying five to the power of x can be equal to five. Now, at this point, we can only simplify further by taking the log of both sides. So let's consider taking the natural log of both sides. So if we take the natural log of both sides, we'll have this to become pi x, pi to the power of x, multiplying x to the power of 5 to the power of x, and this will be equal to 5. Considering the law of logarithm, if I have the in of a, b, this can be equal to the in of a plus the in of b, right? So we can use that to simplify this. Simplifying that, we'll have that expression to now give us the separate in of e to the power of pi x plus the in of five to the power of x, and this will be equal to the in of five. Great. So considering the law of indices, all of these logarithm, all of these will be multiplying the in, and so we'll have the, this by x multiplying the in of e plus in of, Five to the power of x equal to the in of five. Our main uh, aim is to find the value of x. This is going to give us pi x in of e plus x in of five, right? And this will be equal to the in of what of pi. So recall in logarithm that if you have the log of 
a base a is equal to 1. Same way, log of e base e will be equal to 1. That way, the in of e will be equal to 1. So that expression will now give us the value i pi x with this becoming 1 plus x in of 5 equal to the in of 5. Considering this expression, x is what? Common. Then we'll bring out the value of our x and this will give us in pi plus the in of 5 and this will be equal to the in of what? Of 5. To find the value of x, we are going to divide both sides by by j pi plus in of 5 equal to the in of 5 divided by complex pi plus the in of pi. Dividing this, this is simply going to cancel out this, and then we'll have that expression, the value of our x will be equal to the in of 5 divided by i pi plus the in of 5 which is the final solution to that expression using the ULS formula. And you can see that this solution is similar to the solution we got using the logarithm and complex value. So you see, very easy. If you did enjoy watching this math solution, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mass content. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.